So I've run into a bit of a problem. I want the community's feedback here. Here's a cheap bore gauge. It's an I-Gang. Increments are 5 tenths. Uh, I run an aerospace company where a thou really matters. All my stuff goes out to calibration. This gauge ring uh, is extremely accurate, probably within about 10 millionths. I forgot, I'd have to pull the paperwork up, but nonetheless, it's an inch. And I do the conventional for setting for the bore gauge using a mic. To check this mic, I've set it up against calibrated gauge blocks, which are literally perfect. It's quite amazing. I've taken a snap gauge, put it in the micrometer, and checked it back against these two, which have also been set up against a gauge block, and they're literally perfect, like when millions. The gauge pin reading always comes out two tenths bigger, roughly, and I've, I've done this, I can't tell you how many times. So here's the anomaly I need help with. When I run this bore gauge inside this gauge ring, it comes out a thou and a half smaller. What I think I've narrowed it down to is these feet. These collapsible feet, I can't tell if it's focusing so bear with me, but these collapsible feet are not on center with the plunger that gives you your reading. It's offsetting this whole head to one side inside the gauge ring. So I'm gonna try to do this and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm set up, I'm in the gauge ring with the bore gauge, and if you look, this guy is um, about one and four tenths over, or under, sorry. Take my word for it that I've said it, I can't tell you how many times inside this micrometer, which once again the micrometer I've checked several times up against the gauge block. I've also checked this bore gauge up against these two mics, which I've also used a gauge block to make sure it's all set. And so when this is in the mic, it's almost up to five tenths now, which is crazy. Like I just, I don't get it. But I've used, I've set this up against the mics and set it to zero countless times. I want to show you something. I'm going to do something. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've done is I've zip tied these centering feet back from the plunger. So the only thing sticking out is the plunger and the pin. I'm going to stick it in the gauge ring here in a second and check this out. So I'm five tenths under. I've literally reduced it by a thou. I just, I don't get it. Now it's up to about seven tenths, but it's a little finicky without the feet sticking out to help center it, but I'm averaging, hope you guys can see this. Forgive me, I'm not a videographer and as one said on a video, ain't nobody got time for that. But I'm averaging five tenths over. So, two questions. One, has anybody else experienced the feet on these small board gauge heads to do that? And two, it's set at perfect zero here, up against the gauge block, been verified, checked with the snap cages, Snap gauge to the micrometer, snap gauge to the gauge ring, always reading two tenths over, it's a snap gauge. Double and triple checked with two other micrometers who have also been zeroed up against a gauge block, which also goes out to an outside lab for testing. What the hell's going on? Where are the five tenths coming from after I retract the feet?